Hello everyone, so welcome to this first lesson of strategic management and the topic of this series of video is strategic leadership. So in this first video, I'm going to just define some basic concepts that we need. So I'm going to talk about uh, um, specifically on this video, defining what strategy is. So first of all, like I said, what is strategy? Well, there's many definitions for what strategy is, all right? For me, one of the, my favorite ones is this first one, a set of related actions that managers take to increase their company's performance. So uh, in this definition, what we see that first of all is that strategy means action, action that is deliberate and multiple actions that we have the objective of those actions to work all together to achieve a specific goal. I, I tend to compare this to a, like a, a rowing boat. Only by having all the all the rowers pull on the same direction can you actually make the boat go into a specific location. So another way of saying is that um, strategy is uh, another definition is that strategy is an action that managers take to attain uh, one or more of the organizational goals and i think that this is also quite interesting because sometimes we don't only have one specific goal we might have several of them um, a, a final different definition is that a general that a strategy is the general direction set for the company and its various components to achieve a desired state in the future. So what we see all here is that there's a couple of elements in the three different definitions that are very similar, right? So there's the fact that we want to achieve something, so there's always a goal. There's actions that are uh, planned, and uh, those actions need to coordinate among themselves to be able to achieve that goal. So strategic leadership, on the other hand, it's a little bit different. Strategic leadership is creating a competitive advantage for effective management of the strategy making process. In other words, strategic leadership is not just about coming up with a strategy, but it's coming up with a strategy that allows the company to achieve the goal and achieve a better position when it comes to comparing it to the competition. So this means that we need to have a uh, and we need to have teams that are able to incorporate or create these strategies um, in a way that will increase that desirability of the company or that will increase that performance that we are seeking. So normally for this, there are two main steps that we need to take. And those two steps are called strategic formulation or strategy formulation and strategy implementation. From the name, you probably realize what each one of them is. Strategy formulation is selecting strategies based on analysis of an organization's external and internal environment. In other words, I analyze the outside world. We're going to talk about this in another video. So I analyze the outside world. I analyze the forces affecting my company. I I analyze the strengths and weaknesses that my company has internally and with those two big categories of, of information I start to define possible courses of action that I have. Most typically we don't always have just one solution, we have a variety of solutions and one of the parts of strategic formulation is coming up with those scenarios. After coming up with those scenarios, then we have strategic implementation, which is about putting those strategies into action, because otherwise they're just words in a piece of paper. But what we have here is to actually put those strategies and make them real, make them actually achieve the something, make them actually be performed. So those are the two big steps. We start with strategic formulation. We come up with a, a diversity of plans. And then out of those, we select the one that we believe, is we believe is better and we start implementing it. So as a quick summary, strategy, set of related actions that we take in the company to achieve a common goal, right? Or to achieve a specific goal. And in order to do that, that strategy normally goes through two steps. We normally have the strategic formulation where we come up with different plans. And then we have the strategic implementation where we actually put down and implement those actions into the real world. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much. Let me know if there's something that uh, you have any questions and let me know as well. Well, if out of what I said, uh, you might disagree with something. So let me know on the comment section below.